Good morning everyone! We are now here to discuss about mathematical modeling. So first, what is mathematical modeling? Mathematical modeling is the art of translating problems from an application area into retractable mathematical formulations whose theoretical and numerical analyses provide insight, answers, and guidance useful for the originating applications. So now, we have the three types of mathematical modeling. First, the Newton's Law of Cooling. Next, the growth and decay. And lastly, the flow problems or mixing. So, there are three types of mathematical modeling. First, we have the Newton's Law of Cooling. Next, the growth and decay. And lastly, the flow problems or mixing. So first, we are going to discuss about the Newton's Law of Cooling. So now, let's talk about Newton's Law of Cooling. Newton's Law of Cooling states that the rate of a cooling of an object is proportional to the difference between the object and its surrounding. The rate of the temperature T of an object is given by the initial value problem dT over dT is equal to K times T minus T sub S and T sub 0 is equal to T zero. The particular solution of the initial value problem of the particular time t is given by will be t times t is equal to t sub s plus t sub 0 minus t sub s times e raised to kt, where t sub s is the temperature of the surrounding environment, t sub 0 will be the initial temperature of this object at t is equal to 0, k is the proportionality constant, and t times t is the temperature of the object at time t. Suppose you cool a pot of soup in 75 degree Fahrenheit room. Right when you take the soup off the stove, you measure its temperature to be 220 degree Fahrenheit. Suppose after 20 minutes, the soup has cooled to 170 degree Fahrenheit. A. What will be the temperature of the soup in 30 minutes? B. Suppose you can eat the soup when it is 130 degree Fahrenheit. How long will it take to cool to this temperature? So first, we're going to solve about the letter A, which is the temperature of the soup after 30 minutes. So our T sub S will be 75, as it is the temperature of the surrounding. And our T sub 0 will be 220, as it is the temperature of the soup after taken off the stove. So let's write this as the T sub S will be 75 degree. And our T sub 0 will be 220 degree. So we're going to input this at this equation. we get that T times T is equal to 75 plus 145 E KT. So we're going to use this equation to solve the temperature of the soup in 30 minutes. So if the proportionality constant K is not given, we must find it. So we're going to use the fact that T20 is equal to 170. As this A means that after 20 minutes, the temperature is 170. So by using this, we're going to substitute this to this equation and find the value of K. So now we're going to substitute this. 170 is equal to 75 plus 145 e raised to K. And our T will be 20. So 170 is equal to 75 plus 145 E20K. So let's move the 75 to this part. So 170 minus 75 is equal to 145 E raised to 20 K. So 170 minus 75 will be 95. So equals to 145 E 20k. Now we're going to divide both sides by 145.
So, 95 over 145 is equals to E raised to 20K. Next, take LN of both sides. So, we're going to put this as LN 95 over 145 is equals to LN E 20K. Now, use the property of LNB raised to U is equals to ULNB. So, LN 95 over 145 equals to 20K LNE. LNE is equals to 1, so we must change this into 1. Over 145 is equal to 20k as L and E is equal to 1, so 20k times 1 will be 20k. We're going to divide this into 20. 1 over 20. So L N 95 over 145 is equal to k over 20 and k will be approximately negative 0.0211 and now that we get the value of k we can solve the temperature of the soap at 30 minutes now that we have our value of k which is negative 0.0211 we can now get the value of rt times t so rt will be 30 as we are going to get the value of the temperature of the soup at 30 minutes. So let's substitute this to this equation. And we can get the value of 152 degree Fahrenheit at T times 30. So the temperature of the soup after 30 minutes will be 152 degree Fahrenheit. So now we are going to solve about letter B, which is the time that it takes to the soup to cool to 130 degree Fahrenheit. So by using this equation, we can solve the value of T that will be the time it takes for it to cool to 130. So T times t will be 130. So 130 is equal to 75 plus 145e raised to negative 0 0.0211 and the t which we are going to find. So 130, let's move 75 to this part was 145 e negative 0 0.0211 t so 130 minus 75 will be 55 equals 145 e is to negative 0 0.0211 t divide both sides by 145 So 55 over 145 equals E raised to negative 0 0.0211 T. So take LN of both sides. So LN 55 over 145 equals LN E negative 0 0.0211 T. And use the property of L and B raised to U is equal to U L and B. So L N will be 5 5 over 1 4 5 equals negative 0 0.0211 T L and E. As we all know that L and E is equal to 1, so we will change this into 1. L N. 55 over 145 equals negative 0 0.0211 t. Then, 
ln 55 over 145 is equals to my negative 0.0211 and divide both sides by negative 0.0211 so ln 55 over 145 over negative 0 0.0211 plus t and we can get the value of 46 so it is approximately 46 minutes to cool down 8 soup into 130 degree fahrenheit a cup of fast food coffee is 180 degree fahrenheit when freshly poured after 2 minutes in a room at 70 degree fahrenheit the coffee has cooled to 165 degree Fahrenheit. Find the time that it will take for the coffee to cool to 100 degree Fahrenheit. So now we are going to compute about the time that it will take the coffee to cool at 120 degree Fahrenheit. So now this is our given. Our surrounding temperature will be 70 degree. Our initial temperature is 180 degree. And our T2 is equal to 165 degree. And our time will be minutes so now we're going to solve first about the k as it is not given so now we are going to substitute this givens to this equation so 165 is equals to 70 plus 180 minus 70 is e is k and rt will be 2 so 165 70 plus 180 minus 70 is equals to 110 e raised to 2k. So we're going to simplify this. Let's move 70 here. 165 minus 70 is equals to 110 e raised to 2k. 165 minus 70 is 95. So 95 equals 110 e raised to 2k. Then we're going to divide both sides by 110. So 1 over 110. So 95 over 110 equals E raised to 2K. Then take Ln of both sides. So Ln 95 over 110 equals Ln E 2K. Now use the property of L and B raised to U is equals to U L and B. So let's write this as L N 95 over 100 is equals to 2K. As L and B is equals to 1, so let's put this as 2K. Then divide both sides as 1 over 2. So L N. 95 over 110 equals to k over 2. Okay. Now that we have the value of k, we can solve the time that it will take the coffee to cool to 120 degree Fahrenheit. So now, as we solve the value of k, we can now solve the value of time that it will take the coffee to cool down to 120 degree. So, by using this equation, 120 is equal to 70 plus 110 e raised to negative 0 0.733 t, we can now solve it. So, let's move 70 to this side. So, 120 minus 70 equals to 110 e raised to 0 0.0733 t. So, 120 minus 70 is 50 equals 110 e negative 0 0.0733 Zero seven three three t. So divide both sides to one ten. Dividing by both sides by one ten, we can get fifty over one ten equals to e raised to zero point zero seven three three t. Then take ln of both sides. So ln fifty over one ten equals L and E negative 0 0.0733 T. L and B raised to U is equals to U L and B. So L N 
50 over 1 10 equals to negative 0 0.0733 P, L, and E. As we all know, L and E is equals to 1. So we can put this as L and 50 over 110 equals to negative 0.0733 P. Then, divide both sides by negative 0.0733 okay. L and D over 110 equals D over negative 0.0733. So now we can get the value of 10.76 minutes. So it is approximately 10.76 minutes to let the coffee cool to 120 degree Fahrenheit. So now we are done with the first type of mathematical modeling which is the Newton's law of cooling. So see you in our next part.